here had tiles I found it awful so I render it on top yeah changed my mind but because it wasn't the same tiles as this it was like 50 centimeters these are 10 by 10 and yeah I didn't like it so I think it's looking better like this So I finished the shower plate yesterday, <coughs> it's all made of cement and sand only and I put a waterproof layer in this level here, like 2 centimeters down. Now I'm going to still uh, put a waterproof membrane on top, like a hydrofugant, I don't know the name, water resilient layer. And uh, here now, I'm going to plaster this area and paint it white. This I put it there from like kitchen cabinets, and I decided to put this because I saw in the other places I have some humidity coming uh, from. They they are not contacting with the floor, the plasterboard, but still there's some humidity in some level. Now I painted it with the. Uh, mold paint and it's working out well but uh, here I decided because it's going to be way more humid uh, to put this that are way stronger than even the plasterboard this plasterboard so yeah gonna render it this a bit more it's not straight as you can see there here I'm going to render it again it's true, three, four tiles are missing, but yeah, I'm happy with the plate. It's not perfectly clean there, but I think it's nice. But of course there was some problems in the process, like I wanted this to be starting here in the same level as here, or like one centimeter tops but then when I bought the sewage system this sewage system like it's super tall it's like 10 centimeters so then from there to do the inclination that I needed for the plumbing system here that is connecting here and with the inclination with the slope of the shower plate yeah I arrived at this height, but it, um, it's okay, I think. I will put the glass here and that's it. Render this part, still missing here.
first coat is on I'm going to wait a bit sand it and then apply another coat It's not falling from this drawer, whatever this is called, it means it's good. again because uh, I waterproofed it with that layer it's not perfect but I'm trying to solve the problem like this for now and um, I didn't like this sandy look so I'm going just to render everything so everything will be the same Two hours later, it's almost done. Still need to pass with the cork thing there. 
at the bottom um, later because it's too wet now same here from this corner from here up still too wet I need to wait a bit more now everything is continuous and this corner here looks way better still thinking if I should paint it or not but because um, I like this color here and I would like to varnish it just as it is but here I have like three four kinds of render and these connections are going to be visible and I'm not really happy with that and here of course I have the drywall which is totally different material. I thought of um, plastering on top as well in order to make it continuous, but for to do this, like to varnish it instead of painting, but I think I will paint it because I like the way that the paint there connects everything and brings the concrete out more than it does here. So I think I will paint it white and it looks good like here it's almost white and I like to see. Explaining a bit why I was in the last video waterproofing this wall and this and um, this wall over here and then inside of this it's because um, when I when I did this wall, part of it was here already, like this kitchen wall. It was here, existing wall till this part. Then I constructed the rest from there till here, more or less, like to the first step of the of the stairs, and the rest were an existing retaining wall that were part of the deposits of the winery and um, they weren't uh, waterproofed of course um, and the wall that I constructed isn't waterproofed as well from the other side as it should uh, because I forgot it, my mistake and um, so there's no French drain there in the other side of this retaining wall, retaining wall there's no waterproof membrane, nothing so what I'm trying to do is a uh, last resort um, solution, trying to get uh, the damp in that layer that I'm putting here. I know it's not the perfect solution, but it's what I'm trying uh, to, to obtain now. Uh, and what I will do in the future, in the near future, is in the front of the facade, which is there, in front of the facade I will put the French drain like as deep as I can and waterproofed it with a membrane layer, um, with a waterproof layer and hopefully that will help as well for this matter although the front facade is like 3 meters deep deeper than this wall over here so I don't know if the wall, if the water can still come because all the dirt beneath here, I think the water can go up. But yeah, I will do this and um, let's see if it's going to work out or not here. Like I saw, for example, in the wall that was existing here and in this part that I did in this place, which is rendered and with a thick render, the water is not coming as much as here in the kitchen or inside of this where there is no render there is just a, a tiny, tiny cement layer that I put it and now the water proof layer and here in the kitchen the same like here in the kitchen this part that has like 3 cm render the water is not coming as in like no comparison between here and here. Here the water is coming a lot. There is no render here, just the waterproof membrane that I did. 
and here I have a 3 cm render, which seems to help for, in this case, of course, it's higher, so the damp is not coming as much as there, which is closer to the wet area that is beneath all of this house, because this is a super humid area here, so yeah. That's why I'm doing it like this. Let's see if it's working out or not. This is not the actual profile that you should use on a plastic board corner, but I thought I could do a decent corner without the profile that you usually use on plaster board, which is put before the boards. And after all, I couldn't do a decent corner without that. But once the boards are here, I cannot put the, the, the profile before, because the profile has to come before. And the profile itself has a aluminum corner. But yeah, once the boards were here, I couldn't put it and I didn't find anywhere those paper, kind of paper corners. So just using this ethics uh, corner, whatever is the name, that usually you use for outside, and it will work out. I did the same in that in that corner, and it's looking good. I just need to put way more plaster than I would need on normal.